Hey everybody, my name is Adam. I have opinions as inflammatory as hemorrhoids. Well, it's really, really interesting with uh, Mark Wade's attorney that's going to be defending him in this case, Marcus Zaid. He's like this big time, really, really powerful lawyer from Washington, D.C. He's basically a and he's a legal analyst, and on you know, like they bring him on on CNN, CNBC. So he has some television fame too about the law. And I wonder how Mark Wade is actually fronting the fucking bill. Hmm. Well, the whole thing is is that he is. Basically being backed up probably by little mafia boss Bob Iger or the clue, most clueless man in comic books. A fucking Joe Quesada. And the whole thing is, you know, it's like, wow, how, how is he footing for this bill? Because Mark Waite's probably broke because of the lack of sales from his books, which are just pure trash nowadays. And people are like, oh, he wrote Kingdom Come. <laughs> no, Alex Ross actually wrote the story. He was brought in to the story to write dialogue and shit like that. And it's like, hmm. See, we cut, you know, like that's another lie that Mark Wade was, uh, is caught in any claims to be of as yeah yeah it seems like he was they're doing like the old school marvel method which is fine by me i don't mind that like where like the artist basically comes up with the story and then the person that's a writer does the dialogue i have no problem with that well then there's some dubious past on I did some digging, a little bit of research. I have to go on and talk about his dubious past at Crossjaw. Well, after the first couple of days he started working there, he flipped out, started screaming, punched holes in the wall, like four or five, broke all of his toys in the office, stormed out of the offices, had to get thrown out. And banned from the property. Like people described him as an as a oh god, mega maniacal egotistical villain, basically. And the oh god, this is really fucked up too. He also He wasn't fired. No, he he was not fired because I think this was the time they brought the word freelancers in. And he basically did this. Okay, he was barred, so he was brought in to consult with him. And when he was brought in to consult, the <coughs> that's fine. You know, like they met off property and stuff like that because he was banned for destruction of property, which the company did not fucking fine him or anything like that or try to um, pursue legal action or criminal action against him or just straight up fire him or term just terminate his fucking contract right then and there. I would have. You break my shit. You're fucking gone, buddy. And they left his fucking office Full, like that for months upon months and shit like that. Which is pretty, which is an example. Don't do this shit. <laughs> Don't. Don't do this shit in the office. Well, after CrossGen folded, get this. He sent the guy that ran the publication house a black who wreathed. Because his wife passed away a couple years ago, and John Lehman thought it was very entertainment. 
And he took great entertainment value in that. It was very entertaining. And he got all smug and you know, like self-centered and shit like that. Whew. And I hope, I just hope Richard wins this one. Because this is the thing. Wade needs to go down. Hard. He does. You're like, oh, we need him to go down. We need to set an example. Hell, maybe the industry will have a wide purge for mentally unstable people like this. And all this political pandering bullshit, maybe they'll fucking stop it. Because they, it's comic books. It's an entertainment medium. It's not beat your head over with the fucking mallet to forever and ever and ever with political agendas. Shit. And on my old Twitter account, I was questioned why I'm wearing a Superman shirt. If I'm telling people about Boycott DC. Well, I'm standing for Superman, the old ideals that he had. Truth, justice, and the American way. Also seeking truth. Because seeking truth is very important to you. It's important to anyone. And if you don't believe me, uh, you could, on the cross-gen stuff, Tug, that umbrella guy, he has a video about it up. You can find this sh cross-gen shit online. You can research this further. Well, until next time, I'll see you guys around. Take care. Take easy. And be safe out there. Because I don't want any of my precious viewers getting hurt. I, I actually don't. Or my subscribers or anything. And I wish all you well. Take care. I'm signing off.